Welcome to third road trip motivated by Aptera. Uh, third, what happened to second one? Well, it happened last May, I believe. We went to Modena, Italy, where there was a car show where Aptera was supposed to be presenting. But due to weather forecasts, they decided to not show up. So I spent two days playing a tourist in Modena. But at least I saw where the CPC factory is, so must count for something. But today we are in Paris. After about five and a half hour drive through the rain, so at least I got my car washed properly. And here in Paris, there's uh, some kind of composite show where one of the companies that's providing machines for the CPC to build the Optera parts is apparently showing the pieces of Optera shell, so-called body in white or body in carbon, whatever you want to call it. I'd probably call it a shell. So this place is between both Paris airports, the exhibition area. So I assume it's gonna be loud. But I don't know what to expect inside the halls. So let's go check it out. I've now replaced airplane noise with highway noise. I just stopped in one of the rest areas to stretch my legs a bit. So what did we find out? Aptera exists. Here's something for all the naysayers. It was there in its production form, looking even better than what we saw in the pictures before and the renders. I was really amazed by the finish, the quality of the finish. I mean, if this is what came out of the molds, then there's practically nothing to be done. Just assemble it and off you go. All the outside panels, the ones that we will be looking at, are very smooth, even uh, no discolorations or anything. I mean, there's even no need for any wrapping, in my opinion. It just looks perfect. Similar for all the uh, internal parts where the finish is not all that important. It just looks smooth to the touch. Um, no, no sharp edges, no, um, nothing that would need to be fixed after the part comes out of the mold. I mean, amazing how far the composite technology and manufacturing processes have came. So, I'm mostly familiar with how remotely controlled gliders are made and that's maybe knowledge from early 2000s 
and obviously I haven't updated my composite know-how since then and I was pretty amazed at what I saw today. So the whole event was pretty bleeding edge I would say. Lots of companies doing lots and lots of interesting things with composites. I was especially looking at some companies doing recycling because it is now possible to separate the resin and the fibers and get fibers back into a usable cloth that you can reuse in some other project and get resin back into its uh, usable form where you add the hardener again and get the get it to get it to harden again so at some point it will be possible to do a whole circular economy uh, with this kind of materials and there's lots of effort going on to optimize these uh, processes make them cyclic make them energy efficient co2 footprint uh, friendly and really in 50 years i mean whoever is still doing cars in uh, from metal today good luck to you obviously the future is in composites So there were a couple of people from Aptera uh, at the energy booth, namely Audra and Chris McKinnon. They were mostly running around looking for new business contacts maybe. And when they were on the booth they were mostly explaining to the crowd that was gathering there what Aptera is. So from my limited time there uh, I was there about, I don't know, maybe one and a half hours, Tuesday morning. People were actually mostly interested in what this product is, the Aptera, and a bit less in the process and manufacturing itself. Uh, which is interesting because I talked to energy people and they were not all that familiar with what they have there on the booth because they are very far away actually so what they're making are the machines to to produce these composite parts and they're selling them to companies like cpc and cpc then has their own customers like aptera who are actually uh, making use of these uh, machines so there's one step in between but at least from what I gathered, I'm pretty sure that by the end of this uh, exhibition, so Thursday evening, the energy people will know everything there is about Optera. It was raining in the morning and now cleared up a bit. Nice and sunny and nice cumulus clouds developing. Looks like perfect day for flying. And what's next for Aptera in Europe? No firm plans yet. We'll just sit patiently and follow the developments. Obviously their focus now is on starting production in US, get the initial batch of 2000 vehicles out generate lots of buzz, collect even more pre-orders and after all of this is done then maybe they can start considering moving production to other continents. I'm pretty sure Europe will be next on the list. I'm not sure what's the situation down under but that looks like a pretty promising place for a vehicle like Aptera. So let's wait and see and see you soon again 
immediately if, uh, when anything interesting happens.